Exactly. Let's come back to the issue of whether it's so important that there should be no right to strike in this and other essential services. David Starkey, what do you think? I think generally the rule is that there should be no right to strike. Because what is happening in this, this strike, and indeed has happened in the London Underground over the last 15 or 20 years, is a process of pure extortion. Bill Crow is not an ineffective trade union leader. Bill Crow is a Bob. staggeringly... Bob. Uh, Bob, whatever he is. Um, uh, the, the, the large, fat, red man uh, with the <laughs> pina coladas um, is an incredibly effective trade union leader. They are paid £52,000 a Heaven forbid. Year. How much do you earn? Um, I, I a lot earn... more than that. Indeed. For a less onerous, less responsible oh, job. come on. Their jobs could be replaced by a dummy. Uh, <laughs> The 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 most of the trains are designed to run automatically. Come on, these trains are designed and intended to run automatically, as every subway system in the world is increasingly doing. Now, what has happened with London Underground is that it has been mismanaged by both Livingston and by the current mayor. Livingston deliberately encouraged the trade unions. Boris has been is a hopeless administrator. Ken Livingston is a malign genius. And London TfL needs shaking up from top to bottom. The reason fares are so scandalously expensive is mismanagement on an unbelievable scale. But is it